What were your goals heading into Battlefield 4? Well, with the new technology of Frostbite 3, we can do things that we could never imagine we could do a couple of years ago. So if you look at you know, what we show today with the characters and the drama and the kind of believable atmosphere that, that we, could, we could project, um, that really excites me as, as a player when I look at that. And, and I think we, can, we are at a point where we can deliver a very different, more filmic, epic experience to players than we could before. What are some of the Hollywood influences you guys look at when you're developing a game like this? Well, we, we, we obviously looked at actors as one bit of it, and we said, we think we now can project an actor in the game that looks exactly like he looks in real life, for the first time actually. So we can actually take a strong actor and put him in a game so that we get that filmic experience with a very professional, um, high-profile actor. So th that, that was a big win for us. That made the game feel a lot more authentic and real. What have advances in performance capture and motion capture added to the ability to use actors like that within a dramatic story? Well, I think, first and foremost, you get a face that matches the voice instead of just a voice that matches, you know, that sits on a polygon dude that looks kind of so-so. This actually is a real representation of the person that we have as an actor. Um, so that, that's the first one, and we can get emotions of the, of the face, you can get, you know, eyes, you can get everything kind of, kind of real, uh, which, which to me makes a big difference. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a difference until the team showed me, I'm like, wow, this really makes a difference, right? When you play it, you feel so much more engaged and you care for the characters in the game in a very different way. What are your thoughts in terms of this next generation technology that you guys are showing and also the next generation consoles that we'll be seeing in terms of the jump that we'll see of interactive entertainment and a more Hollywood cinematic experience like we just experienced in the movie theater today? Well, for us, we, uh, we have come to a point where we have a mature technology that we frankly continues to develop. There's almost 100 people that work every day on Frostbite. And when you have something like that, you can afford to let the technology kind of take the back seat and focus on the actual experience. So to us, it's not so much about technology anymore. It is about us having the ability to create what we want, for the, frankly, for the first time. So again, emotions, character relationships, and, and drama and excitement that I think is unmatched. You talked also a little bit about authenticity when it came to what you guys were doing with this. Can you talk a little about the authenticity, the, the weapons, the vehicles, and what that adds to the experience? Well, I think for us, um, Obviously, it's a game, right? It's, it's, it's supposed to be an entertainment and experience, something that is fun. So yes, we have real weapons in the game, but there's still you know, polygon models of, of real weapons, right? But I think to us, it's not about making a copy of reality, it's about making a perception of reality. And that's kind of a big difference to me, that what you see in Hollywood and what you see in a movie isn't the same thing as a war would be in the real life. A war, real life, is something that is bad, it's, it's, you know, it's something that is tense and, and probably not something that most people would want to stay away from. But with this, it's almost like we look at this as going back to when you played Cowboys and Indians. You know, this is a way for you to play in an environment. And if we can give you something that looks more realistic, that increases the overall experience. But still, make sure that people understand that this is a game. It's, it's an entertainment experience. What are the challenges when it comes to pushing the bar, raising the bar for the, the shooter genre, which is very crowded and very uh, a lot of successful franchises? Well, we have to, I think you have to find your own place and your own space. And, and with Battlefield, we've been here for a long time, right? We're the only ones that offer you the complete package of vehicles. And um, I think our open world approach, uh, open design approach to the single player here versus in Battlefield 3, which is a little bit more linear, will help that. I think we can offer players the same freedom as they get in multiplayer, but now same freedom is possible in single player.